Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial entitled Enhancing Data Communication with Storytelling. In this tutorial, we'll first cover the intended audience of the video. We'll then have an overview of the topics and skills that will be covered throughout the curriculum. We will then identify the elements that are not included in the curriculum. And finally, there will be a section about me, the author. Let's begin by discussing the intended audience of this video. It's truly intended for any individuals who are tasked with communicating data visually. This, of course, includes data scientists and data analysts who grapple with large data sets and are tasked with communicating conclusions about them to various audiences, consultants who are responsible to clients for honing in on particular features and elements of data sets and communicating the conclusions of their analyses, media members and journalists who become familiar with quantitative topics and need to communicate important conclusions about them to various audiences and the general public, researchers who through papers and press releases communicate broadly about the contents of their focus areas, and policy advocates who are responsible to lobbyists, different focus groups, and policymakers for identifying trends in quantitative information. Let's discuss some of the topics will be covered in this video. We'll begin by identifying common deficiencies in visual data communication. We'll then describe why storytelling is so well poised to be a solution to a number of these common deficiencies. We'll describe how to leverage the story structure in visualization through a number of different mediums. And then we'll describe how we can enhance visualizations through storytelling, which means not only overcoming common deficiencies, but extending visualization in a number of ways including ensuring that confusion is avoided in visual data communication, engaging and enticing audiences through different approaches, and bringing a human element to the content that you're sharing with your audiences. Finally, we'll describe a number of different ways that you can implement these ideas and showcase a number of common tools that are used in the field. There are a number of topics that are not incorporated in this curriculum. These include a specific visualization technology, you should not expect to learn how to use a particular technology throughout the content of this course. Rather, you'll be leveraging your own skills and be exposed to new technologies that you could learn following this tutorial. Correspondingly, you shouldn't have any expectations of learning any programming skills affiliated with visualization technologies. This curriculum does not cover any programming skills. We will also not cover fundamentals of how to design visualizations. This tutorial assumes that you have a functional understanding of how to encode data with visual properties and design visualizations on your own. This is about extending the purpose of those visualizations through storytelling. Finally, a bit about me, the author. This is me. My name is Michael Freeman. I currently work as a lecturer at the Information School at the University of Washington, where I'm responsible for teaching a number of courses, which range from fundamental principles of informatics to information visualization and decision making using data visualization. Previously, I worked at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, which is a global health research center housed here at the University of Washington. I worked there for a number of years as a research fellow and also worked as a data visualization specialist, where I was responsible for designing and building interactive web visualizations for researchers to better explore and communicate their research. More of my work can be found at my personal website, which is mfviz.com, which is essentially a modest collection of some of the projects that I've worked on previously.